Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today I'm going to bring you two activations that you can use to number one, remove limiting beliefs and then subsequently usher in more helpful people into your life. All right, so um, both of those particular um, activations need to happen on the same day. In fact, they happen very shortly after another. Um, and the first one is a very, very simple meditation that revolves all around removing limiting beliefs or removing some sort of limitations that you think you may have in your life. And this uh, is a meditation that you would need to do on the 18th of August at 7.30 a.m. in the morning. So it's very early in the morning, but it's well worth it. Now, um, as always with these things, there's no need to... Um, uh, to convert this into any other time zone, it's the 18th of August, 7.30 a.m. local time, wherever you are. All right. Now, on that 18th of August at 7.30 a.m., um, what you need to do is uh, identify the north one sector of your home and then sit in this sector. Now, the north one sector, for those who are into feng shui and know a little bit about uh, the 24 mountains and the directions, that would be the Rin water sector. For those of you who are not so familiar, all you need to do is uh, essentially stand in the center of your home right here and then use a compass, use any sort of compass that you have. You can use a hiking compass or the one that you have on your phone and check where do you have the uh, 340 to 350 degree range. Ideally, we're always looking for the uh, middle point in this degree range. So that would be 345 degrees. But let's just say between 340 and 350 degrees. Where is that in your home? And that could be anywhere. It could be a bathroom. It could be a bedroom. It could be a study or the kitchen or whichever area it is. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure that you identify this area. And then at 7.30 in the morning, you need to sit in this particular sector. Now, when you sit in this sector, make sure that you sit in such a way that you are facing south. Yeah. Uh, again, you can use the compass and just check that your nose is pointing towards the south uh, direction. And once you have aligned yourself in such a way, then you can actually go into this meditation. Now, how you meditate is entirely up to you. For those who find it very difficult to meditate, uh, you can also journal. So that's also a very good way. Just write down um, what you think your limitations in life are. What is it that holds you back? And just kind of write down journal what it is that you would like to let go of because it just obstructs your progress in life. It's it's constantly holding you back or throwing obstacles in your life. And just write down, I want to um, remove, I want to get rid of. Yeah, so just remove limitations. Tell you, but you need to tell the universe what kind of limitations you want to remove or what is it that you can't achieve because there are some sort of obstacles, seeming obstacles in your way. So when you journal, you kind of need to make that very, very clear. Now, if you uh, want to meditate rather than journal, um, again, you can do that any which way. You can just sit and um, focus on your breathing. And then just once you're in a calm state, you can just um, think about what it is that is really, really annoying <laughs> for you in life? What is it that is constantly holding you back? What are the sort of belief systems that um, are uh, really obstructing your progress? And we, we all have these sort of, uh, you know, moments where it's all about self-talk, negative self-talk. And, you know, there's a voice in our head that tells us that we can't do certain things. Uh, and we all have that, yeah, there's no exception. And they usually, this sort of negative self-talk or limiting uh, self-talk, that usually crops up in situations where we really don't need it. So kind of reflect on situations like that and tell the universe that you are willing and ready to let go of that. That's key, yeah? You need to be ready to let go of it. If you're not really ready for whatever reason, then, you know, even if you say, I want to remove those limitations, you're probably not going to succeed. But you need to make a very, very um, 
strong impression to the universe that, look, this is what's holding me back. I really don't want this anymore. Just remove it. Remove it. I don't need this. Um, and I want to open myself up to uh, more positive thinking. Uh, I want to open myself up to a more uh, healthy uh, belief system, whatever it is. Yeah, just let go. Let go and tell the universe that you're open for something better, for better opportunities, better belief systems, uh, healthier thoughts. So this could take 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I would say um, the longer, the better in this particular case, but no longer than 30 minutes. So really, really take your time to think through scenarios that are not really helpful in your life and that you want to change or that you want to reframe. And so take that time, um, again, cap it probably at 30 minutes. Uh, that's already a very long time, especially if you're not used to meditating. Uh, I would say just if you're a beginner around 15 minutes, yeah, I mean, you can set the clock if you want to, but just ideally um, do it for as long as you feel comfortable and really, really imagine how you let go of the baggage, the toxicity and everything and how you are then free to actually welcome in new opportunities. And once you're done with it, uh, you thank the universe as always. It's always good to um, show gratitude to the universe, helping us moving through uh, difficult situations or through difficult changes in life. Um, express gratitude and then just slowly, slowly count yourself up one to five and then go about your day. So that's the first thing you do at 730 in the morning. Now, on that same day, a couple of hours later, that's at 9.30 in the morning, there is a feng shui activation that can help you usher in uh, noble people and better connections. And again, noble people, uh, those are people who are helpful to us in life. Uh, that could be on a professional level, but also on a personal level, anybody who is helping us out. And, you know, that doesn't necessarily have to be a big investor or someone who lends us a big sum of money. It could also just be a great plumber sometimes, you know, or just someone uh, suddenly we stumble upon a really, really great handyman. That could be a noble person, depending on what sort of issues you're struggling with at home. So um, noble people, that's just a term for anybody who's really helpful to us and then can, can provide assistance um, no matter whether it's uh, it's small or a big uh, issue that we're dealing with. Now, the activation of noblemen and more connection um, has to happen again on the 18th of August, but it's 9.30 a.m. So you first do this meditation if you want to, and then at 9.30, you do the feng shui activation to bring in or usher in noble people. Now, for this activation, again, we're focusing on the North One sector. So it's the same sector that you've used for the meditation previously, um, except that now you are actually placing a water feature here. So again, it's the North One sector. So between 340 and 350 degrees. And there you place an aggressive water feature. So you use a large container of water, the bigger, the better. So I personally use 60 liters. I would say absolutely no less than 30, 35 liters. Anything less than that is not really considered a feng shui water activation or feng shui water feature. Yeah, these small table fountains that look really pretty, but they only hold a liter or two liters of water. They do absolutely nothing from a feng shui perspective. So it needs to be a pail of water, large container of water. If you don't find a bucket or a container that holds that much water, you can use several different ones in the same location. That's also possible, right? Now, um, this container needs to be open at the top, ideally a wide opening. The material doesn't matter. The color doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it's on the floor or whether you can put it on a shelf or somewhere, as long as it's in the north one sector. And even if the north one sector is a pantry, or a utility room or a bathroom or a toilet, it does not matter, yeah? Just put it there. And because it has to be an aggressive water feature, what you need to do is you need to insert a water pump. Uh, you can get them very cheaply at aquarium stores. Um, insert a water pump and um, ideally attach some sort of like a PVC pipe to it so that you get this bubbling, this fountain effect. 
if there's no fountain effect, then the activation is not strong enough and it's probably not going to work properly. So you need to have some sort of fountain effect like what you see here. Now, um, so you turn on the pump at 9.30 a.m. And then you leave it there for a minimum of two hours, maximum until the end of the day. So don't leave it past midnight uh, up until the 19th of August. You need to remove it still on the 18th of August, yeah, before midnight on the 18th of August, but two hours is enough. So if you turn on that pump at 9.30 a.m. and then you just remove it at 11.30, that's perfectly fine. It will work just as well, but it has to be there for a minimum of two hours. Now, once you've done this, once you've implemented this water feature, uh, then you need to actually go out, start connecting with people and expand your network and beyond the kind of people you, are, you already know. Yeah, because that's a network that's already established. But maybe you want to sign up for social events, networking events. Um, maybe you want to uh, look into charity events where you meet a lot of people that you've never met before or that you're unfamiliar with. Try to widen your network a little bit and then connect with people and ask if there's anything that you need help with. Obviously, ask whether someone can connect you to a particular person that you're looking for. Now, what's important uh, is to understand is that noble people, um, while the term itself is, is very gentle, we like uh, the sound of that, noble people don't necessarily only have to be very nice people. Sometimes a noble person is someone who triggers us, um, but that can then lead to some sort of epiphany. Yeah, and they may trigger us in the most negative way. And we're like, oh my God, what an asshole. Um, this is just such a terrible person. But somehow still they open a door for us or they make us rethink the way we're looking at things. So um, noble people are not always just very gentle and nice and friendly and kind people. Yeah, keep that in mind. Um, sometimes the biggest lessons in life come from people that, make us angry or that trigger us in some certain way all right just keep that in mind otherwise you may actually be rejecting certain lessons that are very very helpful and that come to you as a result of this activation all right so 18th of august it's a big day it's all early in the morning so hopefully you can make that happen for yourself um, if you have any questions, any comments, please leave them in the comment section below, or you can contact me directly. My email address is in the description to this video. And as always, I'd be super grateful if you help me out and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me. Um, and if you share the video with anybody who may be interested, and of course, if you like this video as well. All right. See you guys soon.